Hello, group one. It is the Sun Sage, and thank you guys so much for tuning in to another pick a card reading. So, this reading is what does your person's intuition or what is their intuition telling them about you? All right. So, this is for those of you who are interested in that. <laughs> um, if you are not curi curious or interested in knowing what their intuition could be telling them about you, um, do not receive this message. Um, if you are healing from someone, um, do not, you know, receive this message. This is for those of you that are connected to somebody and you kind of want to get some insight on, on what they're getting um, intuitively about you. All right. So um, again, this is for those connected to somebody that you're interested in seeing what it is they, um, what it is their intuition is saying about you. All right. So group one, let's go ahead and get started. You guys have the blue calcite. All right. You have selected the blue calcite here. All right, and let's put this here. And you have the um, <laughs> Shadowscapes Tarot. All right, Shadowscapes Tarot here. All right, so I'm going to grab a few messages to see what it is this person's intuition is telling them about you. Whoever you're thinking of, Group 1, that is who I am channeling. Okay. All right, let's see what we have for you, group one. All right, what is your your person's intuition telling them about you? All right, what is your person's intuition telling them about you? Okay, all right, there's a lot going on. Okay, we have the Six of Wands. <clears throat> we have the Eight of Swords. All right, what else do we have? What does their intuition tell them about you? All right, the person you are connected to, we have the Queen of Swords. Interesting. Um, the Ten of Swords, lots of swords, um, the Fool here, what does their intuition tell them about you? You're definitely strong-willed, strong-minded. A lot of you are very opinionated and I feel like this person's intuition tells them, you know, don't try to, you know, don't try to fool group one. Um, yeah, the moon. You're very perceptive. Their intuition is telling them that um, they can't hide much from you. You know, not that they won't try, but they it's very difficult for them to. They know that you're perceptive here. The strength. All right. Very strong will that's coming through. Very courageous. Their intuition tells them that. Um, yeah, ten of wands. Their intuition tells them that you've had like a lot of life experience in relationships, um, you have the two of swords at the bottom of the deck. There's a lot of swords here. So I feel like you've had a lot of intellectual conversations with this person, or there's something about your mind, the way that your mind works, the things that you've said, um, the way that you guys communicate that tells this person, um, you, you're, you're an observer. You pay attention. You are, um, again, it's not really easy to get one over on you because you um you keep up <laughs> okay um you're very quick all right um what what else do we have for what um their intuition is telling them about you group one what is your person's intuition telling them about you open up okay i feel that here because there are so many swords they may feel like um you are always on the defense you always have to um be in protective mode and daydream um, but I feel like they do see the, the, the side of you that is not so concerned with, um, you know, having to be so hard, having to be so protective of yourself. I feel like, um, their intuition is telling them that there's energies here that they, they feel like, um, that you, it's very difficult to possibly get you to lighten up. Um, it's very difficult for you to not stress out about things. Um, I feel like the person you're dealing with can also be very perceptive. They feel like they, um, are picking up on the fact that you have been through a lot. Again, those life experiences, those relationship experiences are a part of what have shaped you. And I feel like you carry that with you, um, possibly into this connection. So there's a chance they could know about some of your past hurts and, and the people that hurt you and broke your heart. You shed a light on why you don't want to be in, um, uh, situationships or connections that aren't going anywhere. I feel like this person's intuition tells them, um, that you have 
you're in pain, right? Um, you've been emotionally pained by people. And so um, if they're not strong enough, right, for you, then they need to move along. Something about them, you know, is kind of like stuck. Um, should I, you know, pursue this? Do I have what it takes to sort of heal or be a healing partner to group one? So let's get into these energies one by one here. Your person's intuition tells them that you you um <laughs> you you like a lot of attention all right um i feel like you guys like attention though um not from a superficial perspective like vanity but i feel like there's something here about um you making it clear to this person that a, a, a lover's attention is very important to you um you don't like to feel abandoned neglected um those are things that may really 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 grind your gears and get you into like these swords energies and so their intuition tells them that, you know, there's something here about you being deprived of attention and being deprived of appreciation and recognition here that makes you um, possibly very hard on them um, when it comes to those things. I want to see why that six of wands is here. Okay, thank you. Yep. Seven of Swords, Four of Cups. Perfect. Um, it's coming through that this person feels, um, I feel like they know because you've talked to them about it, but I do feel like they know that you've been betrayed by people close to you, by people that you trusted, right? Um, anytime um, I feel like you got into connections, there's something telling this person that um, you, know, you have a fear of rejection too, but anytime you connected to people, um, you dealt with people that weren't on your level, that weren't of your caliber. And um, these are people who saw you as a target, right? Not as someone they needed to love and care for, but as someone that they could um, deceive, someone that they could get over on, right? And so that's why you guys have this image, at least to this person now, that you are very observative and you do not, um, you do not take kindly to lies, deception, right? Um, and so I feel like this person um, knows, right, that you are someone who's been through a lot. Um, you are someone who's been lied to, cheated on, uh, has faced rejection. And so there could be something coming through of them knowing that that's why you require demand. Even the queen of swords is very demanding to me. Um, demand that they give you the attention that you deserve, right? It's a reassurance thing. It's a way of showing that they're not going to sneak away, that they're not going to leave you, that they're not going to reject you. Um, and so this person knows that, you know, you deserve love, that you require um, a lot of attention from a mate. Um, I feel like this person um, has possibly had a really hard time being consistent. OK, and so that's something that I feel they know that pressure is there. Um, if they want to stay connected to you, there's something about them either evolving and changing their pattern, how they do things in order to stay within this connection or they need to accept, you know, sort of accept defeat and, and move along. And I feel like they're not ready to do that yet, but they do know they have a tough nut to crack when it comes to you because you guys um, do require a lot of attention, mainly because you have been betrayed. All right. Um, I do also feel like this person can sometimes see you as somebody who is quick to leave um, situations when they get tough. Okay. That is because because a lot of you have experiences. It's kind of like you already know what's going to happen. Why stick around, you know, for the foolishness? But I do feel like this person has maybe had some um, issues or challenges in this connection and they feel like instead of being patient with them, instead of being um, empathetic to possibly their, their situation here. There's been some, op there's been some chances where you've, um, where they feel as if you have maybe wrongfully criticized them, wrongfully come at them with like attitude, major attitude type energy. So their intuition tells them that you're, you're emotionally wounded. And that's why you, you have this fear of rejection. You have this fear of being neglected and abandoned. And so that's why you could be being, being very hard on them. All right. The eight of swords. All right. Their intuition, um, could be telling them that, you know, you'll never get over your past. You will never, you're stuck there. Okay. Um, you'll never get over the things that hurt you, the people that wronged you. There's something about them picking up that a lot of the issues that you may have with them 
are not just about them. And it's about an accumulation of relationships that have been challenging and at times toxic for you. So let's see why this Eight of Swords is here for what their intuition is telling them about you. All right, their intuition tells them that you don't get enough fun. There's something about um, you guys putting others before yourself, the chariot. You may have even um, sacrificed your dream like to, to just focus on family or to focus on um, a job that came through as very stable, right? Well, sometimes when you follow your heart, when you're following your dreams career-wise, you make sacrifices. And I feel like some of you have um, made those sacrifices here in order to take care of yourself and your family consistently. So they could feel like you have some dreams and goals that you were unable to accomplish. They could feel like that could be a part of why sometimes you may come off as um, unhappy to them. All right. Their intuition is telling them something about you haven't been able to um, do the things you truly want to do travel the places you truly want to travel to their intuition is feeling like you need excitement um let's see what comes they, they feel like you're very serious their intuition yeah is coming through that you're very serious that you need more fun that you need more excitement this is also something that's coming through as something that you've been deprived of in romantic connections because you were stressed out most of the time, three of wands here confirming that there's something about this person feeling like you have so much potential, all right? Their intuition is telling them that you could be so successful if you weren't so stuck in your head all the time, right? And so that's an observation. It's interesting because we're typically uh, talking about the energies of the person you're connected to, but this person's intuition is picking up that you may have some some energies that keep you stuck as well from accomplishing some things, from traveling to places that you want to travel to, from writing that book, from starting that that project, from starting that business, okay? So they know that you have a lot of potential. Again, I pick up that you guys have good conversations. So intuitively, they're picking up that you have a lot of dreams, that you're very accomplished in your own right, right? Even if you're not doing what it is you truly, 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 truly love, you're still successful. So yeah, this Empress has shown up twice at the bottom of the deck for you guys. So I feel like this is definitely their intuitive energy picks up that you are someone who is a divine counterpart. They may not understand what that means for them and for this connection, but they view you as almost goddess like or as they or as someone who is very elevated, as someone who is almost out of their league, right? Um, I feel like they're trying to to connect to you on your level, but it does feel like there's energies here that they sometimes feel shut out by you. And so intuitively, they're picking up that you guys are very um, defensive, again, because of some of those pains that you've experienced, right? They could even pick up that you're controlling, okay? Um, that you want them to change who they are as a way of avoiding changing who you are or something like that. The Queen of Swords here is confirming that intuitively, this person is picking up um, that you are very intelligent, that you are very worldly, that you do have a lot of skills and talents that you have put to use, even if these aren't the things, again, that you wanted to do with like your heart and soul, your passion. Um, these are things that you do well, all right? Um, there's somebody here that wanted to be a dancer. There's someone here that wanted to be a, a writer, but you didn't feel like that was stable enough. And so a lot of you took that secure job, that office job, and you're doing pretty well in that, but they feel like a lot of your stress, some of your attitude may come from the fact that you feel like you aren't really doing what you want to do, all right? Intuitively, um, they are also picking up that, you know, you have a legal mind, okay? A lot of you do have this... Um, <sighs> a clear way of seeing things. Okay. I feel like they like your perspective, but they also feel like your perspective on things may be a little limiting. They want you to open your mind a little bit. Five of cups. All right. So your person's intuition is telling them 
um, that you do need to lighten up, that you do need to try to heal a little bit more from the past pains and past relationships that failed you. Um, and, and I feel like that's a big part. I feel like your person, um, is very perceptive. Okay. I feel like your person does pick up on some vulnerabilities here that you don't want to be shown, but that they are seeing anyway. And so there's something here saying that this person feels like they are possibly on the receiving end of criticism, judgmental energy from you that they don't deserve, that they didn't deserve, and that is residual or resentment from other relationships. So that is just what their intuition is telling them. They know that it goes deeper, right? They're not just going, you know, group one's a B, you know, that type of thing. They're actually, they know it's layers to this and they feel like, okay, so yeah, when I do this, like miss a phone call or don't text back, it's triggering for group one. They know this, right? They know this is because of the past. They know this is because of you possibly being hard on yourself and telling them, yeah, I made a mistake. I should have never done with this type of person. I should have never dealt with my ex. I should have never dealt with my ex-husband. You know, something like that, that you've expressed to them. And so they do feel like you're hard on yourself. They do want you to lighten up. Intuitively, they're picking up that you're taking on far more stress than you deserve to. All right. They feel like they do care about you genuinely and know that, um, you know, there are things that you are carrying with you that you have to release. The Queen of Cups, even though you have this Queen of Swords energy here, they know that you are still soft. They know that you are still warm and loving. They just know that there's a protective shell around that side of yourself. So intuitively, they see you. Okay. They see someone very similar to themselves. They feel as if you deserve love and compassion and understanding. Um, they're also working on how to give that, right? Because, uh, this is kind of like a learning experience for both of you in a way. But I do feel like this person feels like intuitively you are somebody who it doesn't, even though you do have this exterior that feels like it is very sharp and very cold at times. You're still this warm person deep down inside. You just have a lot of pain here. They saw that. They picked it up almost right away. Okay. Um, I also feel like this is a, you know, from you guys being pretty articulate about what your experience is. I feel like you've been transparent with them. So they know <laughs> some of the things you've gone through. They don't have to guess, right? There's not a lot of question mark here about you, right? We do have the moon. We'll get into it. But something tells me this person knows some things about you that um, they they could, you know, solely be picking up intuitively. But also it feels like that you guys have been in a comfortable space where you can talk to them, open up to them. And so I feel like there's energies here that from you opening up and in those moments of transparency and clear thought and clear communication, they have gathered that you were wronged. Okay. And so you live your life now almost as somebody who is the, you know, like you are the bringer of justice to situations, especially your relationships. That's how you look at them um, from a logical perspective, right? Before you get into the feeling part of it, you have to see if this person makes sense in your life. You have to question the person. Maybe sometimes they can feel interrogated by you, but this is also that you can avoid what you feel is a mistake of giving your heart to the wrong person again, because you are so sensitive, even if that's not something that um, shows on the outside, it's something that's here. You've been hurt very easily. All right. And so this person feels that they pick that up and intuitively they know 10 of swords. These endings have had a bigger impact on you than maybe even you realize. Because when you guys are not connecting in separation, no communication, they feel like they are being punished too for, you know, whatever the consequences, whatever your consequences for this person um, have been, they feel like they are paying for the, the mistakes of others as well, right? This isn't just about them missing your call now. This is about them missing your call, your ex before them always ignoring you. And now you guys have this grudge against, they, they're picking up that there's some hostility there. 
that maybe they haven't earned, right? And you guys can feel differently. This is their intuition. Um, <laughs> so the Ten of Swords is, de is definitely showing up as, as those endings have had a bigger impact on you and this connection than you guys may want to admit. The Wheel of Fortune. Your person, their intuition is telling that they may feel like you're drawn to karmic situations. Um, they may, they may not say it, but they may feel something like, you know, there's something about you. There's something about your energy. Maybe the fact that you, a lot of you could be impasse, but there's something about you that draws in, um, relationships that are doomed to fail. And so they do, you know, in their own mind, in their own way, sort of put that on you, but they don't like think that you should suffer for it. They just feel like you have attracted or you have been attracted to certain types of um, lovers that um, you possibly, they feel like somebody like you should know better. Okay, so that's coming through. They have a judgmental um, energy with that. But what is this uh, Will of Fortune about? Like the Ten of Swords, what is their intuition telling them? The Six of Swords, okay? Um, you know how to find peace. OK, they look at you as a problem solver. You find ways of finding peace in your life. You find ways of even with them, um, you know, you don't you try not to over react. You try not to over, uh, you know, handle this situation with them. I feel like your person sees you as somebody who is fair, <laughs> you know, um, even if they, sometimes they get frustrated with like, um, sometimes you wanting to hold them accountable. There's energies here where they see it as, okay, that's what group one has to do because intuitively they're picking up that you just can't go through any more heartache. You can't go through any more betrayals and you have to put up your boundaries where you have to, right? So they do see you as very sensitive. They see you as very strong. They sometimes do feel like intuitively you're closed off and you come off as cold. But I also feel like this person wants to see you happy. I feel like they want to see you enjoying yourself more. Intuitively, they're picking up that you need some new energy in your life. Um, they're picking up that you are um, in need of some sort of new experiences, new relationships. This person feels like they can... Um, Aquarius energy. We also have Libra. Lots of air here. Five of Pentacles. Right. Um, this person's intuition is telling them that they may feel like you sabotage new beginnings. They may feel like you are the one who does not see potential in situations that have a lot of potential. The nine of swords here, they may feel like into, they're, they're picking up that you worry too much. Nine of swords. They're picking up that sometimes you're too critical of others and yourself. This person, their intuition is telling them that you are very difficult to deal with, mainly because you are so vulnerable and sensitive on the inside, but you keep that so protected um, that it's really difficult for this person to get to know you in the way that they would like to. They want to know the softer you. A lot of you feel as if you have exposed that, that part of yourself to this person. However, what they are still picking up on is that it's not enough. And so they feel like you're still hiding something. It feels like this person knows that, you know, the five of pentacles, you look at the downside of things more than you look at the upside of things. Intuitively, they feel like your experiences from the past have um, almost jaded anything they can have with you because maybe you don't, yeah, you're, you're going to, they're picking up group one. Um, they're picking up that you're not like a person who wants to stay and work things out, right? That like, let's say somebody's interested in you, but every time you guys get into it, like there's this energy here where you go, don't call me, don't text me, or you ignore me. What your person is picking up is that, okay, that means that you don't really want a relationship or a relationship with me, right? If you're not willing to be understanding, if you're not willing to talk to me about things, they do feel like there's been a certain amount of fairness um, as far as as you know, there has to be some way for you to protect yourself, but they also feel like sometimes you don't give them a fair chance um, when it comes to second chances or when it comes to um, them having that freedom to be able to be transparent with you. They feel like you can come off as judgmental. So their intuition is telling them that you have been played. Their intuition is telling them that 
you know, you're not the you're you're not who you used to be. There's something about you that yes, it it, it feels evolved and yes, it feels like you are um doing well and successful queen of pentacles but it also feels like this person wants to see more of you having fun appreciating life um enjoying this experience and they just feel like you're not um the moon is here saying that there's a sadness coming through your person may feel like um you know their intuition could be telling them that you're you're sad um that you are hard to please here why is the moon here pisces cancer showing up also yeah, I said Aquarius. Why is the moon here? The Ace of Wands. Your person's intuition is telling them that you do, that you're, that you're a very good person. You have a very good mind. You have a very, we'll get to this strength here. Um, you have a lot of determination. You have a lot of willpower, a lot of courage here. The Ace of Wands is confirmation that your person's intuition is telling them that you still have some excitement left inside of you, right? They still see you as worthy of investing in and having fun with. Um, I do feel like they want to get to know you better. Um, cause right now judgment here. Yeah. It, it comes off as that you're kind of closed off. You guys may feel like they're a little closed off and both of you could have, you could be marrying each other, right? Some of these experiences that you've had, they have had as well. And so it's coming through that your person is picking up that, um, they, they do want you to change death. Okay. They do want you to change. They, they want to connect with you deeper. They feel like the best way to do that is for you to let down your guard a little bit. If you guys are not feeling like they put themselves in a position, um, of trustworthiness, then you have to make these decisions, right? Is it, you know, <laughs> I've been transparent with them. I've, I've let my guard down and, and they broke my heart or something, right? You have to make those individual decisions. This is just coming from their perspective and what their intuition is telling them and it feels like there's energies here like your person sees you um as somebody who is very deep and intense somebody who is very intellectual but also very soft-hearted um and very um very giving at times but also you feel like they don't see you as as sometimes receptive enough okay so um they feel, you feel very stressed to them. You feel very stressed out to them. And that's not an easy energy to approach, right? Um, so strength here. They want you to soften up. They do. Because intuitively, they feel like, okay, you're strong. Okay, you're smart. Um, but where do I fit in, right? Um, let me do that again. What is this strength about Leo here? Scorpio also. Yes, yeah, the moon, right? They want to know, you know, how receptive you can be. Okay. This person is looking for someone to share. All right. Their experience, their life with they're, this person feels like they're looking for somebody that is going to have, um, they're going to have an emotional connection with your emotional connection to them feels blocked. Again, I do understand that some of you may have had, um, uh, challenges with this person, not feeling like they were trustworthy or like you could open up to them. And so, you know, you, you definitely have to manage your situation with, with what's best for you. But this person feels like they, they feel like a lot of your, um, innermost thoughts are, are hidden and they want to know more. They do feel like they want to know more about you. What does their intuition tell them? Their intuition is telling them that this relationship, to make it work, it would just be a lot, okay, on both of you. Yeah, death, unless there were some changes. This person wants you to change because the lovers came up at the bottom. So it's almost as if your person is saying, you know, my intuition is telling me that if group one changed, we would have a perfect relationship, something like that, right? And that could be them with the rose colored glasses on, not seeing themselves accurately, not seeing the situation accurately, but there is no hangman here, right? And so their perspective, something, you know, with the queen of swords, with all these swords, there's something they're seeing about you that feels 
accurate. There's something about their intuition that is picking up um, a lot of the things you are still holding on to that you haven't released from past relationships that they feel like they are paying for. And so strength with the death, I mean, with the moon and death here, it does feel like your person knows. Group one is very strong. Group one is very independent, very successful, very admirable, all right? But I feel like that is almost looking at you as like, okay, you'd be a great mentor, but would you be a great romantic partner? They want to see more romance from you. Um, and we'll get into some of the other the messages here. What is this 10 of wands? What does their intuition tell them about you? Their intuition does feel like it tells them, you know, you guys may have a hard time making this relationship work because they feel like you have pent up anger. And again, they feel like you're holding on to things that don't have anything to do with what they may have done to you. That is their, you know, that is their take on this. The six of cups. All right. So, yeah, literally carrying the past on your back. That is how they see you. As someone who doesn't let things go, um, they could, you guys could have had a situation where, you know, um, you, you promised you were going to get over something that happened or you were going to move past it and you brought it back up so they could see you as, you know, that type of person as always bringing up issues that you guys supposedly healed from holding that grudge is coming through. Um, they pick up, they feel like they see you sometimes as angry, as secretive, as closed off. Their intuition is telling them that they have to work harder to get to you and they don't feel like they want to write the king of swords. They're just going to resist and they're just going to give you that same energy back. So their energy is telling, their intuition is telling them that, um, you know, you guys are actually mirroring each other. You both don't feel safe opening up to each other. You both don't feel safe um, giving each other um, that receptive, loving energy because both of you feel like you have these past things. Like I said, some of the things they're not liking about you or some of the things they find challenging about you or some of the things they have yet to heal from in their own situation for swords here. And so both of you, I feel like intuitively this person is, is picking up that you guys do need a break. You guys do need some time apart. You guys do need to heal first before you can fully try to come together. Um, there's so much more. They want to know about you and there's so much more you want to know about them. You guys want to go deeper, but there's not a lot of energy here supporting that going deeper is going to, um, you know, make things better for either of you. I feel like you're only going to re-trigger each other or trigger each other more. Open up here. Their intuition is telling them, yeah, that you're closed off, that you that you need to open up more, that you need to be more vulnerable. Um, this can be different for everybody's person, but for some of you, opening up means, you know, um, being more vulnerable. For others of you, this means talking more about your feelings and and being more um, honest about your with yourself about your past. Um, um, so they just want to, to feel you a little more. And right now I feel like, yes, you guys have had some good conversations. There's some, there's some, you know, feelings. There's not a lot of feelings energies here because it feels very hidden. It feels very secretive. Daydream is showing up. They feel like a lot of you have some things that you want to accomplish, um, that you want to do, that you feel like maybe life has been unfair to you and you haven't been able to do those things. So their intuition is telling them that um, you feel like you have these talents and skills that you almost are angry at the universe for not allowing you to utilize or something like that. I feel like this person is, is very deep, actually. And we do have a queen of swords and a king of swords here. Again, not the coldest, I mean, not the warmest sort of, um, you know, pair to have, but this is certain, these are certainly two people that can communicate to each other in a clear way. And I feel like even if right now you guys are taking a break, it is representing that it is coming through that it feels necessary. I want to see what else their intuition could be saying about you. Um, what is this person's intuition saying, um, telling them about you? Um, it definitely tells them that you're going to be difficult to be in a relationship with. All right. You're going to love making. Okay. There's, you know, there's always the physical thing that, that can over, you know, overpower the other challenging energies. I feel like this person's intuition tells them that once you let your guard down, once you are more vulnerable, more comfortable with yourself, they could see you as insecure. 
All right. They could feel like um, underneath all of your courage and strength is, you know, again, that Queen of Cups energy, somebody who is um, who cares what people think about you. Right. Who Someone who does care about the thoughts and opinions of others. Marriage material. Right. Their intuition is telling them that you are somebody that. While things may feel like they will be difficult if you guys could both, because they, they got the king of swords, right? Not a warm energy either. You both could have like a really, this is the type of person that goes, we have so much in common. You know, group one likes this. I like this. We grew up in a similar way. You know, you know, we, we, we are the same sign or we are compatible signs, but that attitude or, they just shut me out, you know, something like that. But they feel like you guys would be a perfect match. They are picking that up too. Their intuition is telling them that you are marriage material. I think the question is, are you marriage material for them? Okay. Their intuition is telling them that you guys would have a deep, um, more, more intense, deep, passionate encounters if you were more vulnerable, if you didn't let your insecurities get the best of you, if you allowed them in, right? So I do feel like there's energies here that this person feels like you're holding, you you have a lot more to show of yourself that you're just not showing. Um, and they feel like, how can I, you know, yeah, not now. How can I be with someone like that? Or at least now that four of swords, what do we say about that break? The three of swords is right underneath that. So they feel your hurt. They know that it's there. I feel like this person, um, you know, I, I feel like this is somebody who is almost picking up, you know, damn, if we had met at a different time. Damn, if, if this didn't happen, right? And, and ruin it for us. Like there's just something here that feels like they know you guys will be perfect together if. Okay. There is an if, but their intuition is telling them that they are connecting to you on an intellectual level. They just want to connect to you more on an emotions level too. All right. So that is what I have for you, group one. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. And if you are interested in a personal reading with me, check out the details in the description box. Hello, group two. It is the Sun Sage. And thank you guys so much for tuning in to another pick a card reading. Um, this reading is what is your person's intuition telling them about you and this connection? All right. So this is for those of you that are interested, curious and in knowing what this person's highest sort of vibrational, intuitive self is saying to them about you and what you guys have going here. So mainly for those connected to someone and mainly for those of you, again, that are interested. If you're trying to heal from a person, if you don't want to be triggered, Group one's reading was very triggering for me. <laughs> so, you know, I understand that if you're on the receiving end of that, it can feel very triggering. So just be mindful of that. If you're in your healing process, if you're trying to leave the situation alone before you go into this message that some things may come through, um, you know, because it's not from your perspective, right? It's from someone else's. So we're going to see what comes through, but just keep that in mind throughout the reading that um, this is something I feel that's going to be insightful but also can be triggering all right so what is your into your person's intuition telling them about you first we're going to go um we're going to get your crystal and your card your deck you selected so you have the blue appetite all right have the blue appetite here and we have the <laughs> tarot of the divine okay tarot of the divine i'm gonna move this put this here for you guys is reading. All right. So let's go ahead and get into it. Um, I'm not doing reversals. I'm pretty, you know, good at picking up if a card is, you know, has reverse energy. So we'll see what comes through. Um, I want them to be upright, but this deck, I never know. There always seems to be reversals that come through. So we'll see. All right, group two, let's see what we have for your person. What is their intuition telling them about you? Okay, two of wands, all right? What is your person's intuition telling them about you, group two? Okay, we have, wow, the 10 of swords and the four of cups, all right? What is their intuition telling them about you? The star. What is group two's person's intuition telling them about group two? 10 of wands. 
Um, the hangman. All right, what is your person's intuition telling them? Ace of coins. What is, thank you. Um, and the seven of wands with the six of swords at the bottom of the deck. So, um, I feel like your person's intuition is definitely telling them with the six of swords energy here that, you know, you could be good for them, right? Um, especially if it feels, cause your person feels like they've had some, um, some struggles with relationships. And so there's something about this one. They're like, I think I'll, I'll stay a while, right? There's something peaceful about your energy. Their inner, the, their intuition is telling them that you are a healing source. We have the star here as well. We'll get into some of these other energies. Um, let's get some of these first. What is your person's intuition telling them about you and this connection group too? What is their intuition saying to them? All right, romance. You're romantic. They picked it up. <laughs> they got the message. You need romance. All right, what is their intuition telling them? And daydream group one got this. So you're a dreamer. Their intuition is telling them that you are somebody who um, believes in the very best. You, be you believe in the very best of people. All right. Um, they may even see it as a little gullible and naive. OK, um, especially if you have seen the best in them and they haven't shown you their best. I'm picking up that there's something about you that they may feel is innocent, that they may feel is is not um you know, sort of able to handle or even know that they have a darker side that exists. So there is some sort of innocence coming through here. Their intuition is telling them about you. Let's go ahead and get started with the two of wands. So your person's intuition is telling you, um, I'm sorry, your person's intuition is telling them is that you may be, uh, they may feel like you're a little indecisive. Okay. I feel like with this two of wands, the reason though that you may be indecisive is because you feel like you're somebody who has a lot of options in life. Okay. It feels like you have a couple of different paths and directions that you could take and be happy and successful in in any of those. I also feel like this person knows you could stay, you know, you could deal with them or you 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 don't have to, right? There's something that they know where you're not bound to this situation. You're not bound to them, all right? Even if there are feelings here, they do always feel like you have a key, an exit, a way out if you want that. So their intuition tells them that you're pretty, you know, headstrong when you want to be, but they're mainly picking up that there's something about you that they feel is, uh, has a lot of potential here with the two of wands. Um, let's see, what is the two of wands here about for what your person's intuition is telling them about you? The lovers. Yeah. They know that you have options when it comes to love. Okay. This is somebody who knows I need to be on my P's and Q's. I need to make sure I do right by group two because group two can replace me. Okay. Um, they, you guys may have started this. So <laughs> a special message is coming through. If you were dealing with someone when you met this person, if you were talking to some, they know, okay, their intuition already told them that there was someone else there and that you did make your choice. They do know that they were the choice. It doesn't really feel like you guys told them, hey, I was talking to somebody, but I chose you over them. I, I really felt like this connection was better for me. It feels like they kind of knew that something was going on. Gemini energy showing up. Um, you guys had options, okay? Um, it's interesting. <laughs> I was telling group one, we're always looking at the person, you know, what was going on with them and, and how, you know, uh, how we're seeing them. Now this is how this person is seeing you, right? And so there's something coming through that they could feel like intuitively you have some player energy in you. Not that you have exhibited that, but again, if you're, if you're feeling like you have options, if you're feeling like you have a lot of potential to be with anybody, um, at least that's how they see it, right? You could be with a millionaire. You could be with an athlete. You could be with an actor. You can be with anyone. Why me, right? They feel like they know you have options. Why is the lovers here with the two of wands for group two? Yeah. Ace of Cups. So their intuition is telling them that, um, this is not, this is more than, um, this is more, this goes deeper than a physical attraction. A lot of you, I'm picking up that this person, their intuition is telling them that 
um, even if they try to resist this, they do know that this is love. They do know that this is a love match. Even if they were the ones who had trouble making a decision, even if they were the ones, um, you know, who has options or who has options as well. This is a single cup for one person. So it feels like they know um, that this is a love match, that this is a true pair situation, um, that you are a twin flame or a soulmate. Um, the Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck is confirming that for me. Um, it's coming through that this person intuitively knows that they could have a blissful life with you, that there would be a lot of fulfillment in every area, right? You guys would have a good physical, intimate connection. You guys uh, could possibly have like, uh, you you know, intellectual connections. There's something about you that feels like you check all these boxes with these 10 of cups all lined up um, and that they could have a family with you. So, you know, I feel like this person does view you as somebody who has chosen them um, <laughs> and they should be honored. Uh, they do feel like you have your, they could, I, I'm picking up that they see, they, they feel like intuitively there's a flirt in you that's never going to go away. OK, there's something about you that is attractive to other people that you enjoy. However, at the end of the day, they still feel chosen by you. They still feel like this is a love connection and that they do know intuitively that what they're feeling for you goes deeper than your physical appearance, goes deeper than your physical attraction to one another. And it's about the heart. It's about love. So let's see why we have this Ten of Swords here. All right. What is their intuition telling them about you? I feel like with this Ten of Swords is more of kind of what I was picking up in that other energy. You will do whatever you have to do to protect yourself. This Ten of Swords, you know, this looks like somebody who was stopping someone from getting on the boat. They like cut off their hand, everything. And so this person may view you um, intuitively as somebody who will always do what is best for you at the end of the day. Um, you, They may see you as somebody who um, has no problem cutting people off, being cutthroat even if you have to be. They do pick up that you have that sort of sharpness to you, that as much innocence that they feel like you have. And sometimes even, you know, you see the world in a really beautiful way and they may not see it so beautiful. There's something about you knowing how to handle yourself. So this person's intuition tells them that um, if situations, you know, get too much for you, you will find a way out of them. All right. You will not stay connected and bound to anything seven of swords yeah i mean and and look your person your person has trust issues with you even if they didn't have them with anybody else they have them with you okay um they look at your strength and they look at the fact that you are not codependent on them in this connection as you know again those options coming back right the two of cups is here and so they always look at this connection in terms of if I, if we are together or we're together, like, like if you're with this person, y'all are together together. It's committed. It is clear. It is, you know, exclusive. There's an energy here that your person always worries that you're going to cheat on them or find someone else. That is something that they may not express, but it feels like it's coming through, right? What is there anything group two would let come in between us? Okay. And so I do feel like the ten of swords and the seven of swords, what their intuition is telling them about you is that you're pretty clever. All right. And that clever can sometimes extend to sneaky if it's a lower vibrational type energy. So they may feel like, you know, a lot of you are like, well, I've had to do what I had to do in a couple of situations. They know that. Right. Even if you haven't communicated that because they have picked up on things that you said to them that may not have been consistent with something else you said to them. They've picked up on stories that you've told them and you were the aggressor or you were the person who was like, um, you know, you had the upper hand, you know, so they, they're listening, they're intrigued by you, but they do know that, you know, if they aren't careful, it can turn on them, that cleverness that you have. Um, so what, why is the seven of swords here? Uh, the world. Okay. So I like this because it feels like, it feels like they're saying, I know that's behind you, the world, right? If you had, like, let's say, <laughs> um, I don't know why I'm picking this up, but let's say there's a scammer here or an ex-scammer here. This person knows those things about you. They love you anyway. Um, they do feel like this is something you've put behind you. For others of you, this person knows that you have had to do what is best for you in certain situations, even with them, right? You've had to put up some boundaries. You're tough. 
You're tough. And so they know this, right? You're emotionally tough. You're not easily broken. And so they pick that up about you for sure, right? Um, there's something about endings. Like you've had some endings with them. You've had some new beginnings with them. There's something about those endings though. You ain't cry about it, at least to them. You know, you didn't beg and plead that with them. You didn't uh, compromise yourself and your dignity. And so they do feel like there's energies here showing up that, you know, you'd be perfectly okay without them. Their intuition tells them that you feel pretty complete and fulfilled on your own. That's one of the things they like about you, right? That's one of the things that has made them fall in love. But they do feel like if they're on the opposite end of your of your wrath, they could be in trouble, okay? Um, the Four of Cups. You have made your person feel very insecure, all right? Because I do feel like there's something coming through with them knowing almost because like I'm looking at these two together, the four of cups and the star is almost like your person um, can't believe that you've chosen them or can't believe that you're dealing with them, right? There's almost this energy of, please don't let them reject me. Um, deep down inside, they could see you as a four of cups type energy. You don't care what happens here with them either way because you have those options, because people want you and they're, you know, next in line, okay? But it doesn't work out with us. There, th that something about that does put fear in them, okay? Um, what is this four of cups about? They're afraid of you rejecting them. Their intuition tells them that, um, again, there's energies here that you would lead them, cheat on them, you know, go silent on them. Four of swords. And they're worried about what that would mean. Okay. What's the deeper meaning of, of group two ignoring my call? What's the deeper meaning of group two not, not seeing me in a while? This person, it's interesting again to see it from their perspective because the same thing you guys may be fearful of or worry about with them, they're worried about over here with you. So it feels like this person does fear rejection specifically from you, does fear uh, tr does have trust issues specifically because of you or sp specifically in this situation. And so your person feels like their intuition is telling them that, you know, this is a connection that they have to move slow with and be very patient with because they don't want to get hurt. It's interesting, right? They're the ones that don't want to get hurt. They are the ones that feel like they have um, a healing process here that they feel you may compromise. Okay, what is this Four of Swords with this Four of Cups about? All right, let's see. Hierophant, <laughs> okay. Um, their intuition is telling them that you don't want to be with them. All right, there's something coming through here. It, it does feel like they, you guys are together for some of you. It does feel like for some of you, you're in this connection, but I'm feeling this from some, I'm feeling this from a deeper level and something is coming through group two that your person feels like you would reject a commitment from them. So some of them haven't asked. Some of them are avoiding that topic or conversation. Some of them feel like the second they give you a chance, throw their trust into this relationship and open themselves up, you are going to hurt them. All right. So I do feel like relationships are very important to them. They've already seen you in that light. I love that we have like these big energies here, the world, the Hierophant for how their intuition, what their intuition tells them about you, because their intuition does tell them that you have this relationship energy. You have this energy of somebody who, even if you come off as very wild, sometimes very free spirited, you're still very grounded. You're still, you can still, you know, um, get demure and modest when you need to, right? Um, so they do feel like, you know, you are that relationship material intuitively. They are picking up though, that, um, relationships are something that you can take or leave. They know that you are not dependent upon anybody. All right. That's something good that, you know, you want that somebody needs to know. Right. Um, again, they feel this like I'm replaceable. Right. Like they feel very replaceable. Taurus is showing up. Also, Leo, Aquarius, uh, Scorpio. All right. So this person. I feel um, I feel like your person, um, what their intuition is telling them is that. 
some of them are reading you wrong, I will say, because they feel like you're not interested in them genuinely. All right. Um, again, that goes to that cunning energy. They may feel not that you're using them, but as if you are sort of dealing with them for your own entertainment. So just be very careful about the time that you spend with this person and, you know, what what you are, what message you are sending them. Because a lot of them see you as sort of this holy, chaste sort of person they want to be in a relationship with. But if they feel like you have this player energy or like you're only here for them physically, then that's something that could um, keep them from really making it clear that they want to be with you. Um, that's for some of you why they haven't opened up. They don't trust that you really genuinely like them. That four of cups is there. Their intuition is telling them that you may prefer, you know, fun and excitement over that one cup, all right, over over their cup that they want to offer to you. So be careful, I would say, about the message you're sending them. Um, a lot of you are very free spirited. Um, a lot of you, it is up to this person to face their own fears and insecurities. But um, if you do have some curiosity for a lot of you as to why this person really hasn't um, made a big move here they're, they're afraid you're gonna, um, <laughs> you're gonna hurt them. All right. It's interesting here. The star, their intuition is telling them you guys are soulmates. That's what their intuition is telling them. They feel like you're so different. Like with group one, I was getting, you guys are so similar. You guys feel so different, right? Even if you have things in common, there's just some, some things that some, you know, maybe not deal breakers, but some really major things that you guys are different about, right? If you're wild and free, they're a little more reserved. They may be shy, um, loner type energy. The star is telling me that this person's intuition is telling them that you could be good for them, that you will help them, that you will heal them, that you will love them, all right, in your highest vibrational self, okay? Um, they may have also met you, you know, when you were in your phase of like playing around, right? Um, and so they're trying to separate that from what they view you as. They want to make sure that you are truly, right, how they view you and what their intuition is telling them. Their intuition, I do feel, is telling them that they, sometimes they worry for nothing when it comes to you. Um, they need to just have a little more faith. Yeah, Queen of Cups, their intuition is telling them that this is real love. This is pure love. Um, your person is jealous, okay? They have jealousy issues here. Um, your person also is not able to emotionally control themselves sometimes. So if you have yet to see them go on an emotional sort of rampage out of jealousy, it is coming or it's, it's there. It's something they feel like they try. Look at the devil. <laughs> Underneath all of this emotion they feel for you, there's jealousy there. There's possessiveness there. There's controllingness there, right? Um, I feel like your person, um, they know that you guys are, you know, you do have that ability to hook them. All right. They feel like you have that power. And so there's energies here like this person definitely wants to connect with you and continue to connect with you on a deep level level. But I also feel like this person wants to make sure um, none of those lower vibrational energies seep in and ruin you know, what feels like the sacredness of this connection, at least how they're seeing it from their intuitive perspective. Um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Aquarius is here. Why is the Queen of Cups here? Two of Swords. This person, um, it's almost like somebody saying, please let group two not break my heart. Please let group two not hurt me. Right. Um, and a lot of them have halted or not made any moves towards you because there is this fear, right? Um, that they will get caught up in a situation that their feelings will just be completely in control and they won't be able to handle, you know, little things like, Oh, I'm going out with my friends. Wait, what do you mean you're going out with your friends? Like things like that. If you guys haven't seen this from your person, they have it. Okay. And I'm getting all that from the star and the queen of cups. 
<laughs> which is, you know, not this yet, right? The two of swords is that energy of like, this is them trying to put a hold on that, trying to control that, trying to, you know, okay, let's not think so irrationally here. Let's not think with our emotions. Let's make a clearer decision when we feel, you know, less sort of irritated by group two's freedoms, by group two having that, that will, that strongness with them, that free spiritedness. Um, your person's intuition is certainly telling them that you are somebody who I feel, you know, you lead with your heart and, and you trust your own intuition and instincts, but you're also no fool. Okay. You're also not somebody here that is going to, um, you know, allow, uh, any sort of disrespect. This two of swords feels like, you know, when to put those walls up, you know, when to guard your heart and protect yourself. So their intuition does tell them that. Okay. Ten of wands. All right. Their intuition, what their intuition is telling them about you group two is that you have a lot of responsibilities that you handle very well. All right. Um, some of them may feel like you take on too much. Some of them may feel like you're, you're always busy. You're always working. You're always, you know, prioritizing, um, other things. Um, but I do feel like, you know, they admire that about you, but they do feel like, um, you know, there's some, yeah, they do admire that king of cups. So you guys have a true pair. <laughs> like group one had the king of swords, queen of swords. You guys have a queen of cups and a king of cups. So I look, I feel like a lot of you are with this person or you guys are getting closer to union with this person. This is somebody who does love and admire you. Um, they do feel like there's energies coming through, like their intuition is telling them that loving you is a pretty big deal, but it's also going to stress them out enormously. All right. Um, you are a stress factor for them. Okay. Um, with that 10 of wands, you are somebody who, um, you know, has a lot going on for your, in your life. They have to keep up. Um, you are somebody who does not take relationships lightly when you are committed. They have to keep up with that. The King of Cups says you're dealing with somebody who's pretty loyal and they see you as that as well but um they know that you are their weakness all right you are certainly coming through as their weakness what is this king of cups um scorpio here also cancer pisces why is the king of cups here with the ten of wands you stress them out emotionally their intuition tells them that's not gonna go away <laughs> you're always gonna stress them out um yeah Eight of Cups, you're always going to have this effect on them um, where sometimes, yeah, they're going to need to really reevaluate right before they overdo uh, or go extreme with the jealousy, with the possessiveness, you know, with the need of you. OK, you guys may not be codependent, but you're dealing with somebody, again, who could feel hooked to you or who could have a fear of being so attached to you that um, not that they lose themselves. Something is telling me they don't care about that. A lot of them want to shed, you know, things about themselves they don't like. I feel like they do want to reinvent themselves as your partner. Um, but I do feel like this person um, is is showing up as, as knowing that th you could walk away. <laughs> you know, that stresses them out. Their intuition is telling them that you are so resilient and so strong that if things were to ever go wrong here in this connection, you would not hesitate to put yourself first. And that is something that brings them, you know, a little bit of, of, of pause here because they know that their emotions are on the line. So you have this person by the heart. All right. You have this person by their heart space. All right. Um, the eight of cups here is almost like, especially with this king of cups, if I don't make group two happy, they will leave me. Especially for those of you that left someone else for them. And they know that. <laughs> okay. Um, hang man. So this is truly tapped into the intuitive self, right? Um, they are having so many energetic epiphany um, uh, awakenings about this, epiphanies and awakenings about this connection, right? And so I feel like this person's intuition is telling them, you're definitely going to have a good impact in their life, all right? They are seeing you from the perspective as someone who was sent here to help them, Six of Pentacles here, someone who was sent to um, aid them in life, right? As their partner, yeah, someone sent to heal them. It's coming through. Um, temperance showing up here. This person is uh, liberated by you. 
has been liberated by you. All right. Um, this is someone who was stuck in a mindset, someone who was stuck in uh, patterns in life that were destructive and toxic. And so something you're doing, some some impact you're having here is um, I feel like they're crediting you for any improvement that they made. This person knows intuitively you are the best thing that has ever happened to them. Ten of Pentacles, literally. Literally. Six of Cups. All right. Confirming, you know, the soulmate vibes that I pick up. But they've had an awakening about this connection. Um, I mean, they've had an awakening about love through you. So this person has truly, um, their intuition is telling them that you are the person they're going to be with, that they're, they're going to build with, the person that's going to help them um, get to this place of, uh, of, of sureness in themselves. Um, that's not the word I was looking for, but just basically saying that, you know, if they had any doubts about the type of partner they could be, you are certainly going to bring out the best in them. And so I feel like that's coming through Pisces showing up very strongly. Also, Sagittarius, Pisces is here. Yes. Um, this person, their intuition is telling them, telling them that you are a blessing. Ace of coins. Their intuition is telling them that, you know, don't mess it up. <laughs> you know, I, you're being handed group two. Don't mess it up. All right. Um, their intuition is telling them that you are a precious. That you are rare. Okay. I like that you have the aces here for what their intuition is telling them. Um, yeah. Hold on to it. Hold on to group two. Um, four of pentacles here. Don't lose group two. This gets to that possessiveness and being selfish with group two, but it also feels like, you know, what they're interpreting here, their intuition is saying, um, they don't want to let you go. They still feel like, and you know, again, you know, maybe that's something you guys can like kind of help them with. Um, no, I don't see you as somebody that I can, you know, just use or whatever, but, um, I've learned to detach emotionally, whatever your situation is, right? This person is holding on to you while they feel like you could easily let go of them. And so there's a disconnect here because a lot of you are probably like, what? <laughs> as much loyalty as I have shown, um, they're insecure. And so they're not receiving that. And, and, um, so that's why I was saying, you know, just be mindful of the messaging they're getting from you in your acts of freeness. Um, you know. And the Ace of Swords, another Ace here. Yeah, um, I feel like this person knows the truth that you are the one for them. The Ace is number one, <laughs> beginning, you know, this is the beginning of the rest of their lives with you. All right. They know they need to hold on to this and turn this into something more. You feel like you represent power to them. You've helped them find their own power, um, start to work on those things about themselves that feel like they were kind of, um, you know, needing some work, death here. You certainly have recharged them. You certainly have made them feel hopeful again, healthy again. All right. Or healthy, right? Maybe, maybe this is somebody who's never had like healthy, untoxic relationships, right? And so there's something about this one where it feels like they find it valuable and precious and they know that they need to protect it and hold on to it with their life. And the seven of wands, their intuition tells them, um, you're a fighter. You don't, you're not afraid of challenges. <laughs> Those boundaries that we were seeing all through here, you know, they know they exist, right? You guys are not afraid to stand up for yourself. Um, so this tells me that a lot of you have stood up to yourself with this person, right? Because it's showing up. Their intuition tells them you're a tough cookie, all right? You're not a softie. You're not um, somebody who is going to, um, you know, compromise your self-worth and dignity. Yeah, Page of Pentacles. Their intuition is telling them that you have, you're, you're, you're a good bet. <laughs> okay. You're a great bet here. All right. Especially because the queen of pentacles is at the bottom of the deck confirmation. I feel like this person knows they want to step their game up for you. Capricorn energy, also Taurus Virgo. Um, there's energies here. Um, some of you are Leos. All right. Dealing with some of you. There's fire signs dealing with earth signs coming through. A lot. <laughs> and water signs dealing with earth signs. A lot. All right. Um, 
But yeah, the Seven of Wands and the Page of Pentacles, their intuition is telling them, you know, um, this is a good experience. All right. This is a worthwhile experience. You're not just somebody who you're not replaceable. OK, that's for sure. Um, this is this is something that they're not going to get anywhere else with anyone else. The moon. Right. Um, there's still energies that they have a lot more about you to learn. Literally, the page of pentacles, the student, the apprentice. They have a lot about you to learn. Right. Um, I feel like you guys have done a great job, though, at showing them what your your boundaries are, where you draw the line. OK, um, I do feel that I feel like the moon, though, is um, more of that sort of them and their insecurities. Their intuition does tell them that you do this for a deeper reason and they they don't feel like they know exactly what that reason is. Again, that's why I said maybe you need to communicate with them. Oh, this is why I'm like this. This is why I do things like this or this is why, you know, it's not that I'm not um, someone who can commit it's, it's because of this, whatever, you know, there's still some mystery to you about why you are the way that you are. Your person's intuition tells them that you are a romantic, that you crave and desire romance in your life and that you need it as a sort of fuel here. All right. So the number eight could be important to some of you. Um, but I do feel like this person is picking up um, that they should be more romantic with you. Their intuition is telling them that's what you respond to romance. OK, so they have to already know. No, if they're not giving you that, then yes, there is definitely a chance you will get it from elsewhere. Okay. And daydream again, you're a dreamer. Um, you feel like somebody who's been able to make those dreams come true. Um, but you also feel like somebody who keeps them in a good headspace because you're positive and you think about the, the, the positive outcomes. You're, you're peaceful, right? You feel very like a peaceful healing angel type to this person. All right. A uh, very sort of uh, otherworldly. Okay. All right. So what other energies do we have? What is your person's intuition telling them about you? Sweet reminder. All right. So your person's intu intuition is telling them that um, they should never forget that you are the blessing, that you are the prize. Okay. Their intuition knows how valuable you are, um, not just in this world, but in their life. So... Yeah, they're going to be reminded like this is that type of person or type of energy where if you guys are in separation or no communication, they're going to see synchronicities. They're going to see numbers that are your birthdays. They're going to hear people, your name being called if they're just out randomly. They're never the universe is never going to let them forget you. All right. What is there? So they know you're unforgettable. You're irreplaceable. All right. What is their intuition telling them about you? Group two. What is your person's intuition telling them about you? Uh, you are worth the fight. That is beautiful. Your person's intuition is telling them you are worth the fight. That's it. <laughs> and um, misunderstanding. You know, there's a lot of these in your connection. I already feel it because the disconnect here is that you are untamable. I don't want to like, okay, so... It's hard to get you to settle down, right? That's the, that's their perspective. It's hard. They're projecting. They're the ones that have the hard time settling down because of their fear of getting hurt and their insecurities about what you could be doing on the side or what you might do to them. But the misunderstandings here, I feel their intuition tells them there's a lot more to you. There's so much more to you um, that they are curious about knowing. Um, this person knows that, you know, um, there's never any hard feelings between you guys, right? Um, the, these misunderstandings can be worked through mainly because they're, they're feeling like you're worth the fight. This is also this seven of wands coming through. Their intuition is telling them you are worth the fight. Yes, you're a challenge. Yes, you're a lot to handle. You're a handful. But, you know, whatever you guys go through, I feel like this person knows that it's, it, it, it is meaningful to their experience on this earth and it is worth it because you are that blessing, that prize, that precious symbol to them. So this feels like, um, you know, your person's intuition is telling them anytime you guys are not vibing or on the same page, there's a misunderstanding because they've never felt more in alignment with anyone than they have felt with you. All right. So that is what I have for you, group two. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. And if you're interested in a personal reading with me, check out the details in the description box.
Hello, group three. It is the Sun Sage, and I'm doing another pick a card reading for you guys. This reading is what is your person's intuition telling them about you and this connection? All right. So I wanted to tap into your person to see what their highest uh, vibrational energies are when it comes to this um, connection. Are they perceiving you correctly? Is their intuition on point? All right. So that is what I am going to take a look into. As I told the other groups, these can be triggering when you are seeing something from someone else's perspective, especially when it comes to you. There may be things that you disagree with, right? There may be things that you feel are not accurately depicting you. And so um, I just want to make sure, you know, before the reading even starts, that those of you that are trying to heal from a connection or someone, that those of you that are not interested in knowing what this person's intuition um, is saying, that you do not receive this message, all right, before continuing. Okay. continuing. So let's go ahead and get into it, group three. This is for you and that special person you are connected to. The soda light here is what you were drawn to. All right. I'm going to move this and put this here. And we have the runic tarot. All right. So let us see. What is your person's intuition telling them about you? All right. What is your person's intuition tell them about you, group three? All right, let's see what comes through. Um, what is their intuition telling them? Okay, this feels right. I'm going to take it. Will of Fortune. Um, Nine of Pentacles. Uh, Knight of Wands. All right, we got some Virgos and Sagittariuses here. All right, what is your person's intuition telling them? I'm going to do that again. Okay. All right. What is your person's intuition telling them about you and this connection? The world. Hmm. I feel where this is going. <laughs> oh, yeah. Five of Wands. They feel like dangerous. Yes, they are like danger, danger. They like it. But yeah, you guys are definitely, you You can teach them a few things. Eight of Pentacles here. Their intuition is telling them that, um, yeah, the hermit and the star. So <laughs> the four of cups, all right? Um, I feel like you guys could actually be teaching this person a lesson right now. And their intuition is telling them that. Group three is ignoring my calls because I did this. Group three isn't talking to me because I said that. Group three is putting up their boundaries because of this and giving off this energy that you don't care, all right? Um, a lot of you are committed to this I don't care attitude when it comes to them because they really feel like they think you don't care about them. But um, they do know that there's some um, trouble that they possibly have caused and you have responded in kind, <laughs> you know? Um, so they know you're not to be played with. And, and, you know, in the case that they do, there are consequences. All right. So they know you're tough. Their intuition is telling them you're you're tough here. All right. What else do we have for group three? What their intuition is telling them about you? Communication. Their intuition is telling them to reach out to you. Their intuition is telling them that they need to be the ones to open the line of communication for those of you not communicating. And for those of you who are in communication to communicate better. That is what their intuition is telling them. Mm, they are afraid right now. Yep. They are very fearful right now. You, what did I say? Danger. Um, mainly because I feel like this is, um, you guys in separation for a lot of you. And so their intuition is all over the place right now. Um, they feel like they're operating mainly. This feels, this doesn't feel like their highest vibr, this is their highest vibrational, uh, intuitive self. I was about to say maybe it's not, it's, you know, their fear, but no, that's what it's, it's being led by. It's being led by fear. And so their intuition is telling them about you that, um, you are done with them. You're not interested in them. You're bored by them. <laughs> you know, you, they, they, they don't even stand a chance with you. Don't even waste your time. That's what they're picking up for you at this time. They're picking up that you're going on about your life um their intuition is telling them that you are satisfied without them so that's a message that is coming through all right let's see where this goes the will of fortune here 
Um, yeah, I feel like their intuition is telling them that they have some karmic dues that need to be paid. All right. Um, there's some energy showing up that, you know, this is somebody who, um, cross boundaries with you. This is someone who, um, has not been fair to you. And so it does show up here that their intuition is telling them that they're just, they're paying right now for some of those things. Some of those things they denied you and deprived you of. Um, and it feels like, you know, they know they're having a, a difficult time dealing with this. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Um, their intuition is telling them that you came and you, you did come in their life to change their life, to change their mind or perspective on some things. Um, what is the Wheel of Fortune about? Um, the Queen of Wands. Yeah. A lot of you are fire signs. Okay. A lot of you are just very strong willed here, but this person is picking up, um, that intuitively you are someone who, um, you have to stay 10 steps ahead. Okay. Um, you know, I feel like this person may have thought they could deceive you. You guys feel like the type that, you know, get your little spy detective energy on. Um, you feel like you're very intuitive yourself here. Um, so I feel like there's definitely energies coming through that if you didn't feel the love from this person, if you weren't feeling like they were honoring this connection, um, you know, a lot of you could have done your own research just to see what was going on in their life deeper underneath the surface. And a lot of you could have distanced yourself, right? Um, a lot of you could have definitely gone, okay, they don't take me serious. Okay. They don't, you know, treat me with respect. I'm going to do me and make them feel you know, bad about that, right? So that karma here, what is the Queen of Wands with the Wheel of Fortune? What is their intu the intuition telling them about you? All right. Um, the Six of Swords, okay. Their intuition is telling them that you are like, you know, one of the best people they've ever connected to, right? As a queen of swords, I mean, I'm sorry, as a queen of wands, you may physically represent a beauty they haven't dealt with before. Okay, or a sexiness, um, something passionate and fiery they they've not encountered, and the six of swords is coming through as with that queen of wands is coming through as their intuition telling them that you know you made the decision to take yourself away. So I feel like you, I feel you guys as power. They know you're very powerful here. Yep, eight of cups. You made the decision to walk away, to assert your boundaries to leave them alone. There's something here saying you had the power and you used it. Okay. And so now they're dealing with, um, you know, what comes with that, those consequences. And so, um, this is somebody who knows that you, you did desire them, that you were passionate about them, but also that you desired peace <laughs> and peace of mind. And if they were not giving you that, this person intuitively knows that it's what they deserve. If you had to leave them alone, it's what they deserve. If you're ignoring them or blocking them or not trying to talk to them right now. They do know that much. All right. Um, and yeah, their intuition is telling them that you're fine on your own. You don't need them. You can do whatever you want. You're living the life that you want. Some of them may feel like you're connected to somebody um, sexually. So their intuition, if you're dealing with somebody outside of this person you're inquiring about, they know. Their intuition is telling them that you are connecting to somebody that you're attracted to. Why is the nine of pentacles here? <laughs> seven of swords and they feel like you're betraying them they feel like you're being disloyal so their intuition is telling this is their intuition so their intuition is telling them you are being disloyal you are the one who is hurting them and betraying them here with the seven of swords you're being sneaky all right um so this person knows that you're like living your life right they know that you are doing your thing they may not know the details of it or how like what that means, like doing your thing, but there's definitely, it's definitely coming through that their intuition has like the red alarm has gone off. Group, group three is, is, has found somebody. Group three is like having fun with somebody. So they're picking that up. What is this? Uh, seven of swords for some of you, eight of pentacles, right? Um, and a lot of you, <laughs> some of them are trying to be like, no, 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 that's just my insecurities. You know, they may not say that, but no, group three is just working, right? They know that you're not dealing with them. So there's a host of things you could be doing, right? But they just know that you're not dealing with them. And whatever you're dealing with, it, you're far more invested in that at this time than them. So you feel single, okay? Um, and if you're in a relationship, you're definitely feeling like you guys are kind of, um, you know, not each other's favorite person right now. You feel like you're 
connecting to somebody who intuitively knows you have found other better things to do and that is not them. So the Eight of Pentacles says that, sure, you could be just investing in a project and working really hard on things that are important to you in your life, um, things that are bringing in money, your business, your job, whatever those things are, right? Um, but they know that you're busy, right? Their intuition is telling them that you're very busy. And their intuition is also telling them that there are people trying to get at you, right? Let's say you're not connecting to anybody outside of them. They know that there's somebody in particular, you know, possibly more than one person, but they know there's people trying to get with you, all right? Knight of Wands energy. They feel like you may be entertaining that Knight of Wands and then some of them check themselves and go, no, group three is not like that. Group, that's not my person, all right? Why is uh, the Knight of Wands here? All right, why is the Knight of Wands here for what your person's intuition is telling them about you? Um, some of you are enjoying your summer already. <sighs> Strength and Five of Swords. Yeah, some of them do feel like you are no longer loyal to them and you are doing what you want to do. And yes, that feels like it involves somebody else. That is just what their intuition is picking up. Some of you are like on vacation or headed on vacation and you are going to be up to no good the whole time, right? And you deserve that fun. You deserve that. But this person feels like they know and it bothers them that you are possibly moving on from them, that you are entertaining other people. There's something about this strength representing discipline coming out with the five of swords that says, I'm not holding anything back anymore. I'm not going to, what discipline, right? And so this person does feel like you are doing what is best for you, doing what is best to heal and, and make you feel better. And some of them could even feel like there's energies here that what makes you feel better, temperance, is a Sagittarius or dealing with somebody. They can pick up, even if they're not picking up the person's sign, Let's say you are dealing with a Sagittarius outside of this person. They may not go, she's probably dealing with a Sagittarius. He's probably dealing with a Sag. They're saying they're probably dealing with somebody that looks good. They're probably dealing with somebody that is very frisky, very fun, very flirty, very sexy. They, they do know that, right? They know that much. And so they are fearful, <laughs> right? We'll get to this, but they are very fearful right now that you are um, possibly going to encounter the love of your life and that's not them. So this person does see you as doing what is best for you in this five of swords energy. Their intuition is telling them that you won. They feel defeated right now. They feel like they lost. If this was a game, they feel like I played and I lost. The world, you guys are winning. So their intuition is telling them that, okay, for a lot of you, you're done, you're over, you're over, over, right? Um, that this relationship is done, you gave it your best, but you don't want to invest in them anymore. Their intuition feels like it's telling them that you had enough of them. All right, why is the world here? Ooh, I'm going to take all of these because look, devil, knight of wands, ace of wands. Whether this is happening in your life or not, they are attributing your lack of communication or your separation from them as you moving on from them and dealing with somebody else sexually. All right. If you are, they're picking it up, guys. They, they feel it. Okay. If you are not, this is their fear, their worst fear. That you are enjoying the company and other things with someone else. Devil, Knight of Wands, Ace of Wands. You are being pleasured. You are being um, catered to. You are living out your fantasies, right? All of these things are going through this person's head, right? Imagining you in certain positions with someone else. Imagining you with certain circumstances with someone else. And it all feels to be related to intimacy in some way. So this person definitely has a fear that it's over. And the reason they have that fear is because they're intuition is telling them that you are having a lot more fun than they were expecting you to have. And yes, some of you have encountered, there's a very strong Sag, you know, could be a fire sign in general you're dealing with, Aries Leo too, but 
somebody's Sagittarius is coming through very, very strongly. And your person knows that you got somebody like this. Okay. They're like, this person is probably younger than me. They're probably in shape and have muscles. They're, they're like envisioning this person with you and how they look and, and their insecurities are creeping up. And so they're, they're saying things or in their mind, in their intuitive space, they're going, this person looks better than me. This person is, you know, freakier than me. This person does it better than me, right? They're comparing themselves here. And so we go right into the uh, five of wands, that competition. Their intuition is telling them that they've got some competition. They've got some heat. Okay. Because somebody else is showing up. If you guys, again, are not dealing with anyone, this is how wild their imagination runs. They're already picturing you with somebody else. And it's like they have a picture of who that person is and what that person looks like. They are just saying this person is young, hot, and y'all are living your best life together. But yeah, they're comparing themselves. And so this five of wands comes through as your person knowing that there's some competition or knowing that, again, they played this game and they lost. All right. They may have been the first ones to like sort of step out or to, you know, betray you and do things that they were not supposed to be doing in this relationship with you. And I feel like there's energies here that you got them back, um, even if you weren't intending to. Right. Even if you just stopped talking to them, that's a get back. Right. Um, and it feels like you have the, all the power now. What is this uh, um, five of wands about? Thank you. Um, it's the two of pentacles and the two of wands. Yeah. Um, there was a back and forth between you guys. So intuitively they are feeling like, you know, they thought they had the upper hand and then you got the upper hand. And then there was a moment where you had, they had the upper hand again. And ultimately it feels like you guys were the ones who prevailed here, mainly because they feel more worried about you than you are about them. But there is something definitely coming through that, you know, intuitively they feel like, you know, you're either dealing with them and somebody else and, and that's the comp, that's the competitive, competitive competitive aspect or that you um, are doing something else in your life altogether that does not involve them. And, you know, they thought they were being sneaky, right? They thought they were the ones who had that power to sort of live that what they would might consider a double life and you guys are beating them at that that could be an immature mindset of them looking at this as a game and you're winning that's that whole thing when really all your feelings are tied up and you just felt like this person was hurting you and, and you couldn't trust them so you had to do what was best for you um but this is somebody who gets very petty all right and so their intuition if it feels like you're winning the petty game they may want to be more petty right something like that um, but I do feel like this person knows and understands that you don't need them because I feel like you guys are doing something else with your life that they're not involved in. You feel very busy. Um, their intuition is telling them that they, you know, they, they can't even get close to you right now because you have so much going on for you. But this eight of pentacles, some of you are in school. Some of you work. Some of you are parents. Some of you just have your hands full and they are not a part of that. What is this eight of pentacles about? Why is the Eight of Pentacles here for what their intuition is saying to them about you? Yep, they feel like you're at peace doing what you're doing, not dealing with them. Yep, confirmed. <laughs> Nine of Cups and look, another Knight, Knight of Pentacles. So it's no surprise to me that a lot of you are dealing with somebody who may have been a player or somebody who may have subjected you to a third party because now they're projecting. The first and only thing they're really thinking about if you guys are separated or not talking is that there's someone else because that's how they move, right? And so this person is picking up um, intuitively that you are satisfied and and because that that's their way of being satisfied through the physical, they're seeing that for you too, right? What if you're just satisfied in a in a knitting class? Right. What if you're just satisfied and, and happy, you know, taking dance lessons, right? Something is satisfying you and they're picking up that vibration, but they're attributing it to a specific person or a person. Like I said, Virgos and Sagittarius are all over this reading, that Knight of Pentacles here, but the Nine of Cups, they feel like you are, are definitely enjoying being without them or enjoying, um, you know, sort of this position of power. You feel like you are in the world here, clarifying and confirming that position of power, right? This is done. This is over. I won, right? 
I accomplished what I wanted to accomplish. I got you in your feelings. I got you mad at me. Um, you're being petty. You know, you're, you know, there's something about this that if it feels like a game to them, they feel like they're acknowledging that you've won. I want to see why this Knight of Pentacles is here because I want to go deeper into what they're thinking about this Knight of Pentacles as opposed to that Knight of Wands. What are they thinking? Um, <laughs> Nine of Pentacles. I always say for me as a reader, these two are pre like before they get married. Okay. So these are like the single people, um, of the queen and king of pentacles before they marry and settle down. So I do feel there's energies here that, um, they do feel like you are meeting people who are offering you a host of things, right? Some people are coming off as hot and sexy and giving you that physical, um, satisfaction that they feel you are desiring right now. And then they feel like they also know there are people who are coming in with more serious offers, right? Your person feels like intuitively they are picking up your desire ability to the masses and that there are people who, um, as much as they fumbled you, people who would love to be with you. Okay. So that is something that they are definitely afraid of. Mainly they haven't heard from you. They don't know what's going on over there. <laughs> you know, the hermit is showing up. Their intuition is telling them you don't want anything to do with them. You're, you surpass them. You've cut them off. You've blocked them. Queen of swords here, Libra energy. So a lot of them are, um, starting to not feel you and just feel the energies around you. And, and I feel like that is, that is bothering them. All right. The hermit here, Virgo energy again. Ooh, what, um, what is this person's intuition telling them about you? Let's see the king of wands. Yeah. Um, that you surpass them. You're over them. You've moved past them. You are not suffering in silence. You're actually living your best life. Um, some of you, this person may intuitively know that you are in a relationship or you are getting closer to being in a relationship with someone. Um, Leo energy here with this King of Wands, Virgo with this Hermit. Why is the King of Wands here? What is this person's intuition telling them? King of Swords. They put your, uh, just go ahead and erase that text you was about to send. Go ahead and put your phone away. It doesn't matter what you what you say to group three. They're not going to respond. They're not going to talk to you. This is your judgment day every day because you, um, you know, this person knows that they were the ones that possibly wronged you. And now they are dealing with those consequences with judgment here. And so there's energy showing up that you are connected to someone who's very in tune to you. Um, and like I said, even if they don't know specifics, even if they can't give you details, they know that you um, are moving on or moving forward without them. They feel the other people trying to holler at you. They feel that, you know, you're having fun. Like I said, they, they, they heavily feel that you're being satisfied or that you are satisfied. That is an energy that's coming through. Um, and I do feel like they're attributing it to people, you know, King of Wands, King of Swords. That's why you, they haven't heard from you. But I feel like this person has wanted to call you or text you many times. And then they envision you um, kissing someone or being with someone physically. And then they go, no, I'm not going to embarrass myself like that. Right. So the star, this person's intuition is telling them that you are um, special to them. All right. That you definitely are coming through as somebody that they should fight for, right? This imagery of, you know, sort of protection and fighting, um, standing up for something worth fighting for. Um, the queen of cups. Yeah. Their intuition tells a lot of them that you still love them. You may not want to be bothered with them. You may be trying to move on from them, but that you're not heartless. All right. That you still care that you still remember the good times you had, Ten of Cups here. So a lot of them are picking up. Um, for some of them, they still see you as their soulmate. They still want to be with you. They still believe this is uh, there's hope of healing this connection. Yes, Six of Pentacles. They do know that it is up to them. This feels like this communication card to me. They know that they have to be the ones to take that step. And so I do feel like you have this person. The world keeps coming up. 
where it does feel over between you or it feels like this relationship is no longer the way that it once was where they were super comfortable. It feels like they have now been pushed out of their comfort zone to accept that you are not, they are not the only ones that wanted you, right? And you actually have, you know, options here. And so this is somebody whose intuition is telling them, if you want group three back, you got to go get group three. You got to make an offer. You got to apologize. You have to say something first. You have to put it all on the line because you, it feels like you guys have already done that. And you're like, I'm not doing another thing. I'm not picking up this phone. I'm not sending that text. I'm not reaching out to them. I refuse. All right. Um, so let's get into these. All right. You have communication. Yeah, your person is intuitively picking up. I mean, some of you do want to hear from this person. You want to hear what they have to say for themselves. So they they feel that. All right. They do want to send that message. Okay. Um, they do want to say something very sweet, very loving, but they're afraid. They're afraid because they don't want to deal with the the pride uh fact, the pride aspect of if you're dealing with someone else you know, they, they're going to feel like they embarrass themselves. Okay. And so this person is not about taking risks right now, mainly because the stakes are so high. Their heart is involved still. They, again, a lot of them still feel hope that you will come back to them, that you will give them another chance, whether that's, you know, the thing or not, <laughs> their intuition tells them that, you know, if they tried hard enough, there's a possibility that you would, you know, reciprocate or give them that energy, um, uh, be receptive to their energy. So this person is afraid right now. Their intuition is telling them too that, um, this can, this can also, also resonate for you guys, this fear that, um, you're afraid of, of dealing with them again, giving them your heart again, right? They know that they wronged you. So intuitively they are picking up that part of one of those consequences is that you may not trust them again, right? You may be scared to um, risk it all with them again. All right. So what else do we have? All right. What else do we have for group three? What is that person's intuition telling them about group three? I'm not going to keep this one. But I'll show it to you guys. Keeping distance. Okay. So that's where you are. We already know that. All right. You are trying to keep your distance. All right. You're not just at a distance, but you guys are keeping it up. Not now. All right. Their intuition is telling them that now is not the time to send that message. Now is not the time to try to like some of them are even getting messages. Just let group three do them. I hate it. I hate it, but I got to let this happen, right? I hate that I feel like there was somebody else, but I don't have the strength right now um, to change, to make any promises. I don't have it, right? I, I don't have what I need right now to do what I what needs to be done to win group three back. So a lot of them do want to reach out. Yeah, because they feel like this, like you're their true love, all right? Their intuition is telling them that they have something really good with you that this is true love and that they're the ones who messed it up. Top tier. We've been seeing that all throughout the reading. You know, you guys are pretty one of a kind here. And so this person feels responsible for the demise of this connection or the demise of your trust in them. And so there's energies here where as much as they want to reach out and come through, I feel like they're afraid that they're going to have to face their biggest fear. You moved on officially. You're dating someone who they consider better than them. Um, you know, that you beat them at their own game, something like that. But there's definitely confirmation here that this person views you as like the top Okay, the best of the best. And how could I possibly mess that up? All right. So that is what I have for you, group three. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. And if you're interested in a personal reading with me, check out the details in the description box.